Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bioinformatics Coach channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install and set up Kraken on your Linux system. Kraken is a system that is used for assigning taxonomic labels to short DNA sequences. If you want to read more about this tool, make sure to visit this page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. The current version is Kraken 2. That is what we are going to install. Now let's look at the system requirements. This can be found on the developer's GitHub page, and this is the page. I will leave the link to this page also in the description box. Now the requirements, there's a system requirement for setting up the standard Kraken database and using it. And there's also a requirement for installing Kraken itself. So take note of that. These two are for setting up the standard Kraken database and using it. But for this tutorial, we are installing Kraken, so I will skip these two. Let's move to the dependencies. This is what we need to check when we are installing Kraken. Kraken makes extensive use of Linux utilities, so obviously you need to have Linux and I have made mention of it. You also need to have some programs available. For example, you need to have Perl and you also need to have, um, I think you also need to have some programs um, yeah, like a C++ compiler. So they recommend a written version of J++. You, have it. you should also have OpenMP. That is what you need to have. If you have challenges with um, setting up your PC, okay, with respect to these dependencies, you can just contact me and then you can um, look at how to resolve that issue. So let's proceed. I'll skip this one because we are focused on a Linux system. So let's proceed. Now let's look at the installation instruction itself. So we will find it here. We are going to follow this instruction to set Kraken up on our PC. So let's proceed. So let's first get the source code. We will get it from the yeah, GitHub repo. So I think we should get it. Let's just check. Um, I think I had it somewhere here. Let's check the source code. I will leave the link, by the way, to this page in the description box, as well as this page, and then um, the link to the source code. So let's check the source code. Okay, so we have the page here. So we are using a version 2.1.2. That is the latest. So we need to download it. So because I'm going to install an Linux system, I need to get the source code. I will get a source code uh, using the terminal, so I will need the download link. So I'll just right click and then I'll just uh, copy the link. But you can also click it and then that will also um, and download it for you. That is if you want to use your browser to download. But because I'm working on a Linux system, I'm working on a remote server, I need the link because I will not have access to a browser. So let me go to the terminal now. Okay, so I am on the terminal now. So the first thing I will do is to do a CD, just uh, so that um, I am I am hundred percent sure um, that I am in the home directory. And then I am going to do an LS just to check some stuff. So let me just do the LS now. Okay, so at the moment this is what I have. Uh, which we may not have but it's fine we don't need this information anyway so let's get the source code i'll use we get to download okay so i'll just type we get and i'll supply it with the link to uh, the zip file you can use curl or any other downloader as well so uh, take notes i'll execute this command to download the zip file perfect so it has been done Let's clear the screen and continue. So I'll do an ls and then I have I have this here. Okay, so I'll extract the content of this zip file. So I'll say unzip and then I'll call the file. I'll just specify the name to unzip it. Perfect. So I have it also done. Let's check it out. You will see this directory after you have issue the unzip command so this directory is what we need now 
we are installing this okay on a Linux system and this approach is useful for those who don't have um, admin access or those without um, a root account so to properly organize your files um, I will, you will have to create a directory so I'll say make the apps and then I will now um, proceed okay so that's what I'll do I'll create another directory called cracking2 so I'll say make that apps slash cracking2 I need this information okay so basically what we've done is to create a directory we are going to specify the part of this directory that we have created okay? so that um, after um, everything has been um, compiled the binaries generated will be stored or saved in this directory therefore we need to get a full path or we need to get the absolute path for this directory tracking too so i'll say well path and i'll say apps slash tracking two perfect so this information i will need it okay so make sure you also take note of what is displayed or what has been displayed for you now let's cd to this directory the source code so i'll say cd cracking 2-2.1.2 perfect so let's do an ls into this directory okay so we have the first one so we are going to execute the script okay so we say dot slash install and that's called cracking 2.sh and then we will specify the path okay this path okay the password directory uh, that uh, we want those files to be sent to the file that will be generated okay so i'll specify mine so mine is slash home slash student 2 slash apps slash cracking let me just say uh, correct the spelling here so apps slash cracking 2 Perfect. So I will now execute the script. So let's do it. And by the way, um, I made mention of the system requirements. It's important you you make sure that all the requirements have been satisfied. Okay. If you don't do it, um, the cracking um, two software may not work. Okay. Now everything has been done. So you have this notification. Okay. So we are done with um, the um, building of the source code perfect so what we are going to do next is to explore and then do some um, configuration on our system so it says to make things easier for you you may want to copy slash send link the following files into a directory in your path okay so that's what we are going to do. we are going to add the path okay we are going to add this um, directory okay to our path but anyway let's proceed so let's first clear the screen and then let's see the back to our home directory let's do an ls and then let's do an ls into the apps directory remember we created uh, this directory so that we can store the files there so let's see ls apps you will see cracking too now let's do ls apps slash cracking two perfect so uh, these are the scripts okay these are the scripts that uh, were, were, were generated okay and then and saved or stored in this directory so these are the scripts that we use whenever we are going to um, run cracking perfect so with the current setup if we want to run um, cracking 2 or we want to execute any of the scripts we need to specify the full path let me show you how so to do that let's just say we want to uh, use this cracking too let's uh, use this so we can say apps slash cracking two slash cracking two let's just use this command we are just testing okay so uh, everything has been done okay so i mean it's working fine but let's just proceed again with the current setup we always have to specify this okay and this can be problematic for us it can be problematic 
because if and we are working in different directories and the part that we specify uh, may change and therefore you want um, to configure our system so that you can just call any of the scripts like let's say kraken2 you can call this one like this and get it executed for us so that is what we are going to do next so there are two ways you can do that now let's try the first one for those who are impatient those who are eager to run kraken2 so let's just look at the four parts again remember we did a real path so let's just say real path app slash cracking two we are just issuing this uh, uh, command again okay this path we are going to um, add this location to our paths okay so what we are going to do is say export path equals dollar path we add a colon and then we add this also to it so we are adding this directory this location to uh, the, the system path perfect so once we've done it this way we can just say cracking two and then it will still be executed for us let me just repeat again we can just say cracking two and then we have it executed because we've added this the, the, the directory okay to our path perfect now with the current setup what we've done here is just temporary if we open a new terminal okay and cracking two uh, may not have been set up again so we have to go back and do an export so let's just do the experiment so let's proceed let's open a new terminal So if I say Kraken 2, okay, I'll be told that um, Kraken 2 command not found, okay, because what we did here, let's just go back, the export command we used here was just for this session, this particular terminal here, but here, uh, this is a new session, and therefore we have to re-export it again, okay, but we can make these changes permanent. So that's what we are going. So when we make it permanent, then whenever we open a new terminal, we will still be able to just call cracking two like this and run it. So let's just do it here. Let's just use this. So this same command here. Let me just go back. This same command here, we are going to add it to our dot bash rc file. So I'll just copy it because I don't want to type again. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to edit our dot bash rc file and then place this command. So the dot bash rc file has commands that are executed whenever you open the terminal. So I'll first create a backup of the dot bash rc file. I am assuming that you are still in your home directory. So I'll say cp dot bash rc and I'll say bash rc dot bak. That is backup. I'm only doing a backup so that's in case anything goes wrong, I can just uh, revert back to the original file. Okay, but hopefully nothing will happen. So let's edit it. So uh, to edit, I'll use nano. But you can also use vi or any text editor. So I'll say nano.bashrc. And then I'll scroll down uh, to another uh, space and then i'll just paste this command there this one there okay so after doing that i'll just as it i'll just save the changes perfect so now i'll open a new terminal okay and then i'll show you what i'm talking about so you should also open a new terminal so when you open a new terminal you have um the path already added so let's do that. Perfect. So now let's just call Kraken2. So you can say Kraken2. And then we'll see what happens. So let's execute this. Perfect. So it has been done nicely far. So now we have Kraken2 set up on your Linux system. Okay. So that's how uh, we install and then set up Kraken on a Linux system. So that will be it for this tutorial. Now, if you want to learn how to use Kraken 2 to classify sequences, 
or to assign taxonomic uh, information or labels, then you can check uh, this video that is being shown right now. So that will be all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session. Goodbye.